when you think of having kids, it's actually supposed to be a very e easy thing. You're supposed to get married, and then hopefully wife's on the pill, and then she goes off the pill, and then after a couple of months, uh, you're pregnant. And I think the hardest thing is you, you start doubting yourselves, you, you start wondering, and you know, it's, it's just the, the emotional stress that you put yourself under be, because of it. Um, you know, that's, that's one of the things. And then um, I think financially, um, it's just something you cannot prepare for. It um, doesn't matter, you know, it's, it, you just can't. Um, from speaking from a woman's perspective, from when you're a little girl, every movie you movie ever watch, every book you ever read, um, even if you don't know about whether you want to be a mom at all, you never think it's going to be a problem to become a parent. And then when you find out that you're the one that there's an issue with, and you've always looked after yourself, and you've never done anything extreme, and what should come biologically naturally doesn't. That's why I don't understand. Yeah, you, you feel broken. You, you feel like healthy. there's something wrong with you. And, like, and I felt, I actually almost felt guilty and I sat Kyle down and I said to him, I said, look, this is what I'm going through and if you want to, if you want to check out and go and find someone who, you can do this the more traditional way and, and he was like, it won't be insane, but it is, it's thoughts that crossed my head because I felt like I would be, if I can't have a baby the traditional way, I'd be taking away half of his dream as well. Firstly, I think the depression. I think the, you know, the people falling pregnant while I was still in my weight was probably the most hardest for me. Um, I went through months and months of depression, especially after like um, having the miscarriages. Because I think a lot of people don't understand the emotional toll that takes on your body, you know, on your, on your being basically. Um, so I went through a, a really big depression, depression patch. Um, and then I think also like financially it was a really big burden on us, you know, we, it would have been a whole lot easier if we didn't have to worry about certain things and unfortunately we did. So for me that was probably the hardest things of this journey, like really having to deal with people falling pregnant around me and not having that support system and not, not really knowing how to handle these things, you know. Um, one of my lowest points when we started off with this was, um, I walked in on Rian one day and he was crying and I can honestly count on my hand the times that I've seen him cry and he was looking up at me um, saying sorry for him being the problem and that broke me because no one is supposed to say sorry for something that is out of their control it's a condition it's not a choice so yeah um, it scares me to think that maybe because of our financial situation, we will not be able to reach our dreams. It scares me, but it's not his fault. Personally for me, the, that has been the hardest part of the journey, the understanding. Um, I get questions from friends, from family, and there's a stigma attached to it, especially in our culture where it's predominantly said that the woman is the one who's the problem, you know? Not knowing there's something like male infertility as well, and it's not something you can have a conversation over a dinner table. So it's it's very tough, and it's it puts one, it makes one become timid and withdrawn. So it gets to a point where when I see couples, my friends with kids, I can't be happy for them as much as I want to, because the next question that comes is, when you have your kid, when are you having your kid? It can't just be about the moment and everything. So there's this pressure, especially from the black community, that for me is, oh, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, yeah. Probably the fact that growing up as a child, um, family was the most important thing to me. It is, still is today. And for my husband and I, having to face the fact that we could potentially never have our own children, um, was really, really hard and difficult for us both to face. Um, it's, not really, and it, it's not really something you ever want to hear. No, 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 it's not. And it, it, it almost crushes your soul and shatters your dreams. Um, and the fact that uh, fertility treatment is so expensive really makes it difficult in terms of emotional well-being and financial. The most difficult thing I found with the journey was that I started feeling left out of things. Um, people don't want to talk to you, 
because they didn't want to break your your flow per se with your whole journey. They stopped inviting you to the baby showers. They didn't want you to come to the children's birthdays. Um, you know, and a lot of my friends had moved on. They started having the children. They started having the baby showers, and we got left behind. So I think that was the biggest thing. Uh, the other item would definitely be the questions. When are you having children? Why don't you have children? What's your problem? You know, and you're just like, seriously. If it was up to me, we would have had a kid a long time ago. But no, it was a different journey, and that's what I always say. Our journey is very different, and I want to talk about it so that people don't feel so 